Hello, my name is Mark Whitfield and I'm the Manufacturing Operations Leader here at Dagenham. Uh, I'd like to give you a very brief introduction to the cleaning of isolators um, and why is it so important. Well, essentially we're dealing with patients' lives um, and you know, we have to have a clean environment um, so our sanitising agents, particularly within the filling isolators, can work effectively. Um, you know, I'd encourage you to, to, to learn from the material you're about to be trained upon and to follow through each and every time. Um, because you know it could be a member of your family that receives product um, and if we undercut the processes, take shortcuts, um, you know we could end up with a non-sterile product that could have various particulates within it which is clearly an extremely dangerous position to be in. So please do your best to follow the processes and procedures. Isolators used in the filling process involve the autoclave isolators as well as the filling machine isolators. Each of these isolators must be cleaned thoroughly as even though they are sanitised after cleaning using a VHP cycle, the efficiency of the sanitisation will be affected if the isolator is not cleaned correctly. The process flow and all the key points and techniques that must be followed each time are highlighted in this following film. Before cleaning begins, the operators must ensure that they have all the material they require for the cleaning, that any cleaning solutions required are correctly prepared and that any tools required are available. Details of cleaning solutions and wipes will be covered within the SOP for the line. Gloves and a mask must be worn at all times during the cleaning process. The wearing of this PPE both protects the operator as well as reducing and stopping the operators from recontaminating the areas they are cleaning. Debris clean. This is the process of removing any unused components and material from the previous batch. During any cleaning, the minimum number of doors should be open at any time, and the fans in the isolator are left running to assist with the flushing of the isolator. Here, the operator is using any unused wipes left over from the fuel to clean any obvious dirty areas or points within the isolator that are prone to spills. The cleaning technique is to sweep from in to out within the isolator. Difficult to reach areas must be tackled and care taken when cleaning any sensors or cables. All cleaning should be performed where possible in pairs with operators working together mirroring each other's actions. Hoover flat surfaces. The Hoover, hose and attachments must be wiped and cleaned before being used. Flat surfaces within the isolator will be hoovered from inside to out. Any areas that are difficult to reach or clean must be highlighted and a suitable tool will be made available. Clean. A fresh pair of gloves must be worn at this point. Again, the appropriate wipes and cleaning solutions to be used are detailed in the relevant SOPs. Each wipe is used four times and no surface of the wipe reused. The technique of two operators working together continues to be adopted where practical, with the minimum number of doors open at one time. The operators overlap their wiping strokes by approximately 20% to ensure all surfaces are cleaned. With each cleaning action being mirrored by their colleague, each section is cleaned with the principle of left to right, 
top down and from the centre out. The isolators do not all contain easy to clean machinery and the cleaning technique will need to be adapted to cover the cleaning of items such as sensors or difficult to reach areas. For each section the doors and gloves are the last items to be cleaned before the door to that section is closed. The operators will then continue with cleaning the remainder of the isolator. A visual check at the end of the cleaning process must be performed to ensure that no areas have been missed or that there is any smearing. Here the operator has spotted an area that is still dirty and was missed during the clean or was not wiped sufficiently to remove all residues. The training for each isolator will identify these hot spots, though it is imperative that the isolator is thoroughly checked to ensure that the isolator is cleaned prior to the VHP sanitisation cycle. Should any isolator fail the visual check, it must be thoroughly re-cleaned again until all signs of dirt and residue are removed. Just prior to VHP, the IDC port doors need to have blanks inserted to allow for the VHP cycle to be performed, with the doors open, thus enabling all relevant surfaces to be sanitised. Summary of key points. Mask and gloves must be worn at all times during the cleaning process. Fans are to remain on during the cleaning and only a minimum number of doors to be open at any one time. Wiping and cleaning to be continuous, directional strokes, overlapping and mirrored where possible. Clean tools must be used where required. No matter how hard it is to reach or clean certain areas, it is still essential that surfaces are cleaned thoroughly. The isolator must be visibly clean, be mindful of hotspots.